Chris Flint Shadow with uh, ZGF Architects. I'm a sustainable designer, and I think one of the challenges in the coming decades, and something that's going on a lot in Portland, is thinking beyond the building. So an approach to sustainability that looks at eco districts, looks at leveraging thermal water resources in a way that they can be shared and used more efficiently, making our building more efficient, but also contributing to the greater neighborhood fabric. Uh, and I think that's probably one of the biggest challenges and also what is starting to happen in Portland and some other cities. I'm Paul Schultz from Oconomowoc, Wisconsin. Uh, we're about 35 miles west of Milwaukee. And I sit on the architecture board and sit on all kinds of community uh, uh, groups to promote our downtown. And we're here to uh, try to fight uh, urban sprawl of uh, the city and make our downtown viable uh, for the future. I'm talking about fixing up the lakefront and uh, we sit between a chain of lakes and um, how to get people back down some properties that have been not taken care of and uh, they could be torn down and we could like to see some new development of retail and uh, residential and condos, apartments on the lakes and uh, help to bring people back downtown. 20 years ago it was a very, very vital and, uh, downtown, lots of shopping and now we have a lot of empty storefronts. So. I'd like to see all that. I'm Ray Manning, uh, Manning Architects in uh, New Orleans, Louisiana, and I'm here at the AIA convention and we're looking for learnings around uh, resiliency and planning uh, for uh, the aftermath of large-scale uh, disasters such as we had in New Orleans about five years ago. One of the issues that we're facing is uh, large-scale water management planning, not just for the city but for the entire uh, watershed of, of the region and um, architects are in some ways leading that effort and we hope that uh, again we're going to take back some best practices from the convention uh, to inform that discussion. We're talking about green infrastructure. I think that was a phrase I heard this morning and um, we've been in the last uh, four years uh, talking to the Dutch government and our Dutch colleagues in the Netherlands around this subject of a large-scale water management plan for the city. And so, again, we're looking for cues and uh, learnings around that subject area of large-scale water management. I'm Mark Angie. I'm an architect. The uh, firm is in Burbank. I'm with the Pasadena Foothill AIA. Oh, we are um, we are basically have been reoccupying our, our cities, and uh, we've been really learning how to live in our cities again, how to reoccupy them, how to use multimodal transportation, how to build density in our downtown areas, and, uh, and how to build uh, and take care of, um, of uh, expanding populations that come in, and how to build around new transportation corridors. Uh, our firm does a lot of mixed-use projects and uh, new planning projects as well and uh, we've been concentrating on these areas. I'm David Williams. I work for Headquarters Air Force Services in San Antonio, Texas. The biggest problem we have in San Antonio is that the city grew very quickly. Uh, it was not well planned or thought out uh, by architects. City planners didn't do a good job. And mass transit is just not existent. Uh, we need to get architects more involved in the planning and getting the streets and roadways and transit system and communities scale down to something that is more uh, more workable for the My name is Mike Guerrero. I'm an architect from the Philippines, although I'm not an, an associate member of the AIA, San Francisco Interestingly, chapter. Interestingly, we have a group in the Philippines called the Green Architecture Advocacy Philippines, and we are exactly working on green urban planning on the macro scale, meaning working with the government, and green, ar green urban planning on the micro scale, meaning looking at small communities to make them sustainable. Because our concept there is that if you're able to solve the problems of sustainability on a smaller scale, like the small communities or neighborhoods, you have less problems on the higher level of government. And that's what we've been pushing lately and been trying to work.